Ever since he started the Only the Family Collective a few years ago, Lil Durk has become one of the biggest names in the rap game, striking fear into the hearts of other lyrical masters of the industry. And with so many rumors flying around at the moment regarding what he has done to make a name for himself, there's really no wonder why the superstar has garnered so much dread. That being said, the true reason behind this fear may not be what you think. So, why are the rap artists of today truly scared of Lil Durk right now? And what do we even know about the man behind the name. Well, whether you're a fan of the backdoor rapper or just want to know more about his life behind the scenes, stay right where you are, as we're about to explore everything there is to know about the fear that Lil Durk elicits when it comes to the rap game. So, strap yourselves in and get ready for an informative ride, as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on, so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks. The Rumors of Lil Durk's Return You see, the timing of Lil Durk's newfound success was considered by many to be a bit suspicious, and when the rapper was discovered to be wearing King Von's own jewelry in one of his latest music videos, rumors started to spread that he actually had something to do with his mentor's death. Could it be true that Lil Durk was one of the gunmen who took a shot at Von, robbing him of his life, or was this simply a coincidence? Well, it wouldn't be the first time that Lil Durk was alleged to be armed. In fact, back in 2013, he was arrested when police officers found two loaded guns in his possession. The young rapper actually ended up going to prison for a full six months for this charge. And according to Lil Durk himself, who went on to tell the Chicago Tribune about his time spent behind bars, this is a stay that genuinely messed him up inside. He also described the experience as a learning opportunity, which resulted in him getting a lot smarter knowing what was waiting for him behind bars. He didn't turn the leaf completely though, and in 2019, he ended up being arrested in connection with a shooting that had taken place outside a restaurant in Atlanta. This resulted in him being charged with several offenses, including aggravating assault and attempted murder. That being said, Lil Durk was later released after posting a bail bond of approximately $250,000 US dollars, and unsurprisingly, he used the opportunity to record a track called Turn Myself In, which went on to soar to the top of the charts. Whether Lil Durk was actually involved in the shooting in Atlanta, we'll probably never know for sure, which is why many in the rap game went on to respect the man out of fear that they might be next. That being said, Lil Durk didn't like the fact that these rumors were still being spread online, so he did the best he could to make sure that they never saw the light of day once more. In respect of him wearing the jewelry of King Von, he admitted that Von had actually asked him to do so before unfortunately passing away. As proof of this, he went on to share a few text messages between the longtime friends, showing that Vaughn did indeed ask him to respect him in this way. And when he was questioned about why he was making money off the death of a beloved friend, he answered that this was nothing more than critical perception in the making. He wasn't purposefully using Vaughn's name to make money. He was paying homage to his dear friend, paying his respects in the best way he knows how. And yes, while this certainly could be seen as him profiting off Vaughn's name, it's how he wants to mourn. He also concludes by saying that he's sure that Vaughn would have appreciated the hustle if he was still alive. The Motivation of Lil Durk This wasn't the last time that Lil Durk was shrouded in controversy, though. In June of this year, his brother Dante D. Thang Banks Jr. was taken from the world in a drive-by shooting, which was marked as another loss from the Only the Family Collective. Once more, Lil Durk was called out by Takeshi, who laughed at the fact that a few days later, Lil Durk was marketing his new track and album. Once more, rumors began to spread that the young rapper may have had something to do with his brother's death, with many pointing to the fact that Dirk didn't seem to be grieving. But Lil Dirk hit back at the critics once more, stating that regardless of what is going on in his personal life, he has contractual obligations that need to be fulfilled. And it's for this reason that he had to market the way that he was. He then asked for the media to kindly leave him be so that he can actually grieve the loss of his brother, who he loved very dearly. And that brings us to the reason why rap artists of today are 
truly scared of Lil Durk. It isn't his apparent role in the deaths of other only the family members or the time that he spent performing illegitimate acts for the Black Disciples. It's his talent and motivation when it comes to his musical career. This is nothing more terrifying than a modern rapper who refuses to let his personal struggles get the better of him. While other rap artists are too busy slinging raps about how much stacks and girls they have, Lil Durk finds the time to rap about the real things, paying homage to his fallen brothers instead of grieving and doing nothing about their deaths. And funny enough, Dirk has also been called out for this very reason, with many rappers pointing to the fact that his crew hasn't taken care of those who were actually responsible for the death of King Von and D Thang. But taking a loaded gun to another gang is what Lil Dirk would have done if he were younger. And what really scares others is the fact that he has grown and learned that there are other ways to mourn and settle disputes. That's what really bothers these other rappers. And let's be honest, rappers don't really fear violence. What they do fear is having another motivated artist on the scene that their fans gravitate towards. And there's no doubt that Lil Durk is one of those artists. He's a changed man. And according to Lil Durk, it wasn't his time in prison that changed him in this way. It was actually the birth of his first child, which reportedly led him to think about his own childhood growing up. He realized that he had gotten into a lot of trouble growing up because he lacked a male role model on account of his father being locked up. And since he hated his dad for not being around, he would never want his kid to feel the same about him. So, rather than perpetuate the pattern that was looking to be repeated, he decided early on that he wanted to change. This is apparently also why he turned himself into the police after he heard that there was a warrant out for his arrest. This unashamed respect of the law is what sets him apart from other celebrities within the industry, and may very well result in a rap game that doesn't rely on a heavily influenced gangsta image. And it goes without saying that this is once more a massive fear of rap artists moving forward. A little more about Lil Durk. Dirk Derek Banks, as he is formerly known, was born in Chicago, Illinois on the 19th of October, 1992, making him only 28 years old at the moment. And since his father was incarcerated when he was only seven months old, you can imagine that he had a pretty tough childhood growing up. In fact, according to an interview that Lil Durk participated in just a year ago, he still remembers those nights where he would have to go to bed hungry, since there was no money to put food on the table. But not wanting to be defeated by his situation, the talented Dirk turned his attention to social media platforms such as MySpace and YouTube, which appeared to be great stepping stones when it came to making a name for yourself in the world. As time went by, Banks warmed up to the idea of becoming a world-class rap artist, and was partially inspired by his social media following to make something of himself in the music industry. Life seemed to get in the way with Dirk becoming a father at only 17 after dropping out of high school. Just like that, he found himself on the wrong side of the law, getting in deep with a street gang known as the Black Disciples. But it must be said that this lifestyle never got in the way of his dream, with the name Lil Dirk finally becoming popular with the release of his fourth mixtape, Signed to the Streets. It was around this time in 2013 that Dirk accepted a joint venture with Def Jam Recordings, which brought about the collective of Only the Family. And for those who don't know, Only the Family went on to become one of the greatest rap collectives of all time. And while this collective was formed from a number of talented individuals, it was Lil Durk and his longtime mentor, King Von, who truly carried the Only the Family name. Unfortunately for both Dirk and Von, though, tragedy then struck in November of last year, when King Von was shot outside of a nightclub in Atlanta. Slowly but surely, members of the Only the Family collective started to lose their lives, causing rapper Takashi69 to make fun of Lil Durk for not looking after his family. Suffice to say, this wasn't a great time for the Chicago-based rapper. But it didn't take long for him to pick his head up and try again, throwing out some incredible tracks for fans to listen to. This comeback of his did, however, bring with it some rumors. But what do you think of the fear that Lil Durk seems to give off? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.